Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today we are going to talk about the complete overview of security testing. So we'll discuss about what is security testing, what are the different types of security testing and what are the tools which we are going to use to perform security testing. So if you want trainings on uh, security testing, then let me know. I have provided my details uh, in the description box of this video. So you can ping me on WhatsApp. So let's get it started with this uh, session. Is it everyone is? Yeah, it's accessible. Yes, yes, yes. So, so before we'll start, does anyone knows about security, cyber security concepts? It's an open session. Anyone can talk it. Okay. Uh, let me add. So our agenda is what is security testing? So basically the secure testing we are covering, how we are protecting the particular organization information. So that is covered under three scenarios. One is confidentiality, integrity, availability. So based on these three scenarios, entire information we are protecting. And second is why security testing is important. And, sorry. Okay. And what type of security testing existed? So what, uh, which I said earlier, there are multiple types of security testing existed. So in the front end web application and we front end, we have multiple mobile application, web application, the client, and when coming to background, it's a firewall level, network level, database level. So in how many types of security existed? And web application security, where it involved? And type of web vulnerabilities. So the words which is called vulnerability, we can call it as a similar to attacks. We will call it regularly findings. So the most of the applications having the vulnerabilities. Then in uh, IT terms, we will use the word as vulnerabilities. Then regular term, it's called as the findings. SDLC in security testing. Uh, this I will show you over the PPT, like how it will be existed. So in our basic SDLC, we know based on the code development, everything in your functional testing. But in that same SDLC where security testing is involving, then how to we how we will conduct there? OWASP introduction. So what is OWASP basically? The simple term OWASP is Open Web Application Security Project. What is this project? Why it's coming into the secure testing place? That I will uh, explain in the exact place. So what are the top ten vulnerabilities? So how it will be divided into top 10. So who made it in the top 10 vulnerabilities? How we can categorize it? Everything we will learn from the sessions. And what are the tools we are using? So in our functional testing, some you will use uh, Selenium something, some sorts of tools. But when it's coming to security testing, in the web application level, what are the tools we are using? So basically the tools we are calling proxy tools. Why it's calling proxy tools? Where, why proxy is involved here? So those I will explain in the same place. And what we promise, like uh, after you learn something, then you have some queries. You don't know how to handle the interview. You don't know what is the queries they will ask. So those kind of questions and how to prepare the resume for security testing. So in say example, you are working in functional testing since last five years. So you want to move it from five years uh, to secure testing. So you can make Nar it three Naresh, uh, so, sorry to interrupt you. Can, yeah. can I record this video? Yeah, please. Oh, thank you. Is it Itendra? 
sorry is it itendra or someone no i am surya this side uh, surya uh, this my... session uh, surya already session been, uh, started recording itendra has started then... recording he will share the sorry. link to you i am no need for okay. another okay so where we are what we promise so we will help you on it how to create a resume for you and if you are keeping like at least you are changing the domain means you are adding your security testing cases in resume so how many years you can minimum add and what are the basic questions they will ask so if you are going to add more years then what are the queries they will raise so everything i will assist on it uh any queries Uh, I'm going for the next. Yes, uh, no, I have a query yeah, uh, re regarding the OVS. Uh, is, is there anything we are going to cover? Like there, there are security testing is done through. Uh, yeah, so WASP was like system, like, black black hat, or they they have also do. Yeah, so we, see, we are the, just I'm going to focus on OVS as, as you said. Yeah, even uh, even our entire training will be on OVS top ten only. see the osp is open web application security project so there they will divide all the vulnerabilities in top 10 so who who are those so the right now the top 10 members from the organization osp organization they are in 2016 14 time they are the top 10 hackers in the world wise so sometimes what happen after you are in some stage you will get some realization then later they become a wasp members they will i divide the all the vulnerabilities like all the findings all the attacks into top 10 and each category they will divide around uh, 50 so let's take example authentication so then authentication under how many test cases will come so the, this kind of test cases we will introduce uh, they are introducing in the wasp organization yeah so basically in uh, those 10 vulnerabilities we are going to cover uh, number of test cases as well and yes. uh, showcase you as part of this training yeah yeah uh, sorry to interrupt uh, just wanted to know means uh, before uh, starting with this session sir so is there anything means like uh, basic things we should know about security or you will be starting picking it from scratch yeah i will i will start from the scratch like uh if you are getting if you are getting one application for web application security okay so what is the starting steps from you should do okay yeah i will explain everything in uh, detail actually i mean from scratch so this is kind of just theoretical uh, training today i mean uh, we'll just give an overview what is security testing what are the what would be the agenda for uh, coming uh, like uh, training so uh, this is what we are going to explain today and then probably from the next session practical in practical way like how you should start from beginning so we'll explain everything yeah don't worry about that one Uh, yeah. any other choice oh, what is security testing so the basically security testing means we are protecting the data from unauthorized users how it will be so i will show you uh, after this uh, mid of the ppt i will show you everything so just uh, i am i am open to say i am not focusing on any definitions i will focus on mostly in uh, the, uh, practical sessions theoretical uh, if i will give you something you will learn it so, but uh, when it's coming to practical 100% i will show you what each and every step what to do uh, if what what is the issue you are facing so that i will definitely assist on it but this definitions you can learn in some anywhere but uh, there are in entire in security they are divided as a information security so major top of the head is information security we call as a ism information security management 
in IT terms, like when we are in an organization, the team called information security management team existed there. They are, they, the team will take care about information security. What is security testing? So security testing basically to provide the confidentiality for the particular data. And we are also for focusing on the, all the protection related activities. And uh, apart from that, what we are doing? So just we are identifying the, all the security risks in the code. So as you know, all the uh, most of the functional testers, just you will identify the uh, functional related bugs. So like take example, if you are any uh, functional is not working, then you will report it and the dev team will work on it. But is there any loopholes existed? So the, let's take an example of upload functionality. So if you are looking for, okay, the upload, they made it as up to three MB. So when you're trying the three MB file is not supporting there. Just you what a functional tester, like you guys will do that. You will do something like you will inform them. Okay. This is the issue. So there is a, a functional level issue. Then they will background. They will verify it. But uh, what is secure testing will do there? How secure testing will involve for the one upload functionality. Then simple term, I can say that there is a uh, application will support only for the JPG. And one of the test cases is just, I will change JPG bat file to JPG extension. Then I will try to upload that bat file. You know, right? If bat file will execute, what will happen in the background? That kind of test cases I will show you. And next one is, uh, it says definitions. It's a different, different definitions we are added here. So in what is secure testing means it's a just protecting the information from the unauthorized users. Uh, any doubts? Okay. So why web application security is high importance? Then uh, I'm just, uh, this is the important thing. We are covering only web application security in the course. Secure testing means we are covering web application security. So what is web application security? So before going to that, I will give you a small example for this. So I have a three quotes in hand. I have given the builder to construct a very proper villa. So. I paid everything amount. He, he provided a proper villa, which is having the, uh, like, uh, all the master bedrooms, lockers, where everything is in place. But when you coming to the doors front end, the lock is not proper. Is there a use for that? Is the song? So that's, that's what web application is. Web application is a front end. There is some noise is coming background. May I know who's that? Hello, sir. Audio is not audible. Who's that? Audio, Rajiv Parida. Uh, audio is not read, uh, audible. It is properly not audible. For my audio? Uh, Rajiv, yeah, yeah. probably you yeah, can... Uh... Your... Yeah, you can uh, uh, rejoin that. Uh, maybe you disconnect and try to rejoin. Even if you're not oh, able okay. to hear properly, then uh, still, I mean, we are recording this session and I'll share you the link as well. Don't worry about that. One. And like audio, audio like break. Yo, it's coming. It's breaking for everyone or uh, only Raju? No, it, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So what is web application? So by using web application, we are accessing the complete application functionalities from where in the front end, the front end supporter, the, the browser, the browser is a mediator from 
server to application to take the input from the application and provide the response to the user. So here in the browser, we simply when we are uh, when you have a customer of banking organization, they will share you the link only to log into the net banking and you can do your transactions. So we, we will log in through browser and we will do our activities. But how much secure it is? Uh, is anyone thought of that? Okay, well, I'm logged in my application. I am able to see only my account balance. I am able to see only my uh, account number. And only I'm able to see my PAN card details. Is anyone tried? Like uh, if you're doing changing something in the parameters, you, you can be able to see some other account numbers or some other PAN card details. Hopefully no. Yeah. So in security testing time, that's what we are doing. We are trying to change some manipulation in the request parameters and we are getting the, some other details, some other user details. So this we covered in most of the security, uh, all the test cases scenario, I will show you that everything. So now, nowadays we know that every day web application is increasing day by day. Most of the uh, earlier stage, you know, earlier stage in we have only desktop, then they will share the one exe file for us, then we will install that exe, only that particular system user can access that. Now, now, now in 23, everything in web app only. I don't think so, most of the application not in exe, other than Skype. Uh, we know that, uh, we are able to view the applications and we are able to running and we are able to use it, but we don't know how much secure it. When anyone is, I know everybody is using Zomato or Swiggy. So when you are doing your transactions, are, are you sure how much you are secure from there? Is anyone ordering the pizza from pizza portal? Are you, when you are paying your net banking amount through net banking, so how the your credentials if they are taking, then who is support there? Because I'm a net banking user for uh, ICIC bank, but I am paying the amount through uh, pizza like Domino's. So when you are facing issue, who will support for you? Domino's will come and check your account details, or net banking will people come and check your. Dominus will say the authentic, uh, you can reach out to the net banking team. But no, I say, I say team, what they will say? They said, they give me one week time, I will get back on it. But are you sure that within a week, your account is safe? So how, how it's happening, the encryption between there? What is the tools existed to decrypt and you can get the amount? And how, see, when you are buying some purchasing one product, you are paying 100 rupees. So have you tried any time, like, uh, do you know how to buy that product within rupa, one rupee? This is not a, uh, this is not an example. And then this, this is, we are doing in the testing scenario, security testing, how the product is backend, they are marketed as 100 rupees only. Just as a security tester, we will verify, okay, the product in the front end is showing 100 rupees. The back end also, they are implemented proper violation for 100 rupees only. So this is covered under PCI DSS level, payment card industry level. And we know out of 100 applications, 95%, above 90 applications are vulnerable, including our net bankings that everybody knows, but no one can't do anything. Yeah, that's what I told you. Most of the applications are vulnerable too. And out of 100% applications, around 70 to 80% between applications are exploitable. So this is another word called exploitable. What is exploitable? So there is a two things existed. One is we are able to identify the loopholes. And second one is by using the particular loophole, we are exploiting. We are getting the access of some other level that is called exploitable. So how to exploit, how to get the DB of particular application. So I am a banking user. I am saving my credentials in the database. 
So can I get access of my database? No, because I am a ICIC customer. I, I am using logged in to the applications. So uh, no, why should I not get my database? Because I am a one of the user. You are just one of the user. You are not an admin. You are not, don't have rights to get the, some other user credentials. So how you will test it to get the entire DB and how to get the passwords of saved passwords in the DB. So those practical time, I will show you that. Uh, any queries? Anyone? Okay, the silence, I'm confirming no queries. So types of security testing, uh, which I told you like each level, some of the stage will involve. So when the building is constructed in the front end doors, that's a web application. We can call as a vulnerability assessment and penetration testing teams. VAPT team, that they are regular terms. If you are in an IT organization, you know this team names. VA team, PT team, SAS team, DAS team. This is the regular one. And we have another team called uh, network security team and another team called uh, IDAM team. They, they will provide the user level access and another team is risk team. So each level we have in the different, different text, uh, security testings. But we are covering everything under vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. So web application comes under these two level. So what are these two? So basically vulnerability assessment is just identify the loophole in the particular machine, in a particular system. Just we are not going to any explore, we are not going to do anything. Just we are identifying, okay, this application having a particular loophole. Then what is penetration testing? By using that loophole, we are getting the access of some other level. That is called penetration testing. And risk assessment. So uh, let's take an example how risk assessment team will involve here. So this is up to web application level, two levels. So risk assessment means uh, I have an application within a one week, the application feature want to go production. But today, there is the risk identified, which is high or medium. Then who will help for that? Can I stop my production because of two issues? No. Then how can I? With the same issues, can I go production? If something is happen, if attacker can identify those issues, then my application completely will log. What to do for this? Their risk team will involve. They will go to the each and every place of the thread and they will ident they will evaluate based on the impact. So in the authentication page, in the login page, username, password page, having the uh, loophole, then they will tell them directly, you can stop it. Or if the post login, something is a functionality. By using that functionality, I'm getting the access of some other user. Like when I'm logged into the, my user ID, uh, I have a page called change password. So there is something like I can enter old password and new password and confirm password. But what is happening there when I'm entering new and confirm password, the credentials reaching to the server as a clear text. So in that scenario time, risk team will, will say, okay, this is the high risk, but it's a post login risk. You can take a one week of time, then you can fix it. So the risk team will involve that scenario and they can do their work. The network security, you know, everybody network level security is like, uh, I have one server where my application got hosted. So uh, I am the user and I'm an attacker. When I'm hitting the server within a minute, more than 10 lakhs time. I have a tool called uh, uh, in intruder. So what intruder will do? 
just it will hit the server to get uh, get the uh, server goes down so if that will be happen my application will goes down my pro activities will goes down then it will take another 24 to 48 hours i don't want to waste my 48 hours of business so network team will involve here what they will do so when the any request is coming to the particular ip from the particular place they will limit it if more than 10 times they are hitting the server within a minute they will block that ip and they will identify the issues in the firewall level and they will implement the proper controls so the, we will uh, we are using different different teams uh, one is network pt team and another one is sock team and uh, there is another team also called dlp they are called data leakage prevention so those people will comes under this stage so this is social engineering testing so that we know that uh, when you are logged into your facebook or when you are logging to some sites it will give you a pop up so you will you are you will win a 1 crore when you are clicking this button so this kind of attacks will exist in social engineering attacks so we are continuing the remaining so compliance testing wireless security testing and disaster recovery testing so these are the remaining testing uh, scenarios existed in the it so compliance testing like uh, uh, pci dss when payment card involve here when payment card related activities involved so those people we can come conclude as a compliance testing and wireless security testing so what is the encryption we are using when data is traveling between one server to another server so those team will go for the wireless security and disaster recovery testing okay i have everything in my db suddenly my db got crashed who will work on it to recover then how they how we can confirm they are not they don't know anything about inside data because db having the most of the data sensitive only and apart from these test cases we have another multiple uh, security levels involved now that is called in a sas team which is called secure code review team so our agenda is only two things in the entire uh, next coming 30 days vulnerability assessment and penetration testing these two we will cover in web application security just uh, these details i provided to you just what kind of security testing existed in the outside market any doubts okay thanks so what type of web vulnerabilities are existed so basically uh, there are divided uh, the vulnerabilities are divided based on the three scenarios one is confidentiality second one is integrity and third one is availability based on these three details the all the test cases all the vulnerabilities was divided the confidentiality when it existed so it existed in the based on the authentication and authorization and next integrity integrity means what is integrity the integrity in general terms the data cannot be edit, edited any unauthorized user so it comes under client side attacks or command execution attacks so how these attacks will for, uh, impact the integrity so those also i will explain in the next and next one is availability so i am the one of the banking user i am the one of the application user i want to log in and i want to do the my activities when the application should be available 
uh, I will tell you one second. Uh, just let me finish this last one, then I will show you. I will explain your queries. Uh, availability. So I'm the user, I want to log in and I want to do some other activities, but what is happening in DOS? DOS is denial of service attack. I am, I know some user IDs, but I don't know password. I am using some of the links and I'm trying to uh, run it. So if I run that particular tool, so what is the scenario of lockout when I'm trying to log into the application? If any three user attempts fails, then automatically the account get locked out. But I want to do my activities. Then attacker, what he did, he did something uh, unethical thing. Then he made it, my account got locked. So based on these three scenarios, he made as a everything in types of vulnerabilities he divided. Okay, let me let me go for some queries. How to do certification on this? Uh, definitely, uh, what are the certificates? Uh, we will go for this and uh, uh, which is the basic uh, certificate and what is that? And I will definitely explain end of the session. And I will definitely assist in the, how, what to do for the certification as well. And what type of security testing we will learn in this course? In this course, we are learning web application security testing, which I showed you. Uh, in web application security testing, we are covering two parts, vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. But remaining, I just show you for you just, you know, the you should know before learning all type of testing, you should know basic what is the security testing existed in the outside market. We just cover web application security testing only. Okay. No, nothing is there. If anyone is there, you can ping me in the chat. Any queries, anyone? So SDLC in security testing. This is the so we know our software development life cycle, requirement and analysis, design, development, testing, deployment. So how secure testing will involve here and what stages and what is our learning stage? So that I will explain. So post design, so requirement analysis stage, we are not going to do anything. After design stage, there is a testing called SDR, Secure Design Review. Okay. After this stage, we are going for Secure Design Review. Then later, post development, the code is everything is ready. I do. I want to know is there any bugs ex existed inside the code. Here we will do the SAST secure code review after development. So as a general regular process post development, it will goes for the testing slash QA quality. After this functional testing, everything is done. Then it will go for the uh, security testing team. Then we will do manual testing and uh, using tools also that is called DAST. After development, we call as a SAST. After testing, we call as a DAST. So here, what is the scenario? So after testing scenario, after we are done the our security testing. So I I got to know there are ten critical issues, ten uh, medium issues. But my production, I don't want to stop. So what we planned here? Just we will go through the we will inform them the developer. Everything will goes for developer they will fix at least minimum 10 critical issues. Then we'll approve it for the deployment. Then again, they will come back for the remaining medium. Then we will raise a query for medium issues. Then they will fix it. Then it will go to functional testing. Then it will come to again, security testing. Security testing team will fix, uh, re-verify it. They will confirm it. Okay, the fix issue got fixed. Then it will go by deployment. 
so that is the main reason every quarterly we are getting the latest updates for each version the major reason is for the update of each uh, even your phone or android versions or ios versions or your application getting updated because of the bugs there is no there is no change other than bugs inside that is there any small changes existed because of user interface so the users will raise a queries okay i have this future called uh, profile but there is no uh, upload of my photo option so the what based on the user's requirement then team will take it the requirement and they will de uh, develop the upload the photo but it's a small change but the when you are getting the updates means if you go through the link i don't i don't know like everybody is going through the links or not what is you are getting post upgrade so upgrade means it's 75% of your bugs fixing that's why everyone we can say that use the latest version of all the tools all the products is anyone using still uh, android 7 no yeah why see this android version everything is same it's not supporting in the phone why because android 7 now we if you are using android 7 mobile your entire data what is there inside in the mobile it's in a hacker sand only because all the android 7 loopholes already existed in the attackers database if you are logging through the browser in android 7 also attacker will get the uh, alert okay someone from the some device they are logging into the net banking so based on the bugs 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 fixing only we are getting the updates mostly uh, any doubts anyone so this is osp so as i told you earlier this is a open web application security project it's a pre project and the top 10 are going to have hackers earlier it started now most of the uh, members in the uh, osp organization around out if you take a 10 members out of 10 eight members from the hackers only so they are introduce this project it's a non profit foundation it it's basic agenda is provide the security for the complete our system and maintain that security so if i am running uh, let's take an example i have implemented one application the testing is done the security is done everything is done but later 6 months later there is another uh, issue was raised that is called latest we know apache uh, log 4j i should upgrade from log 4j from older version to new version that we got to know based on the osp only so the osp what is that it will based on this project and based on these test cases we we are providing to the security for the application and we are maintaining that security as well Uh, as i told you it's a free and open source one uh then this project will share you the list of security tools and it has the each and every test cases related books and you will get the uh, how to develop implement the code i am the go like i know the uh, bug i have identified the one uh, bugs in the application i don't know how to implement the code so the basic sample codes also they will provide and they will provide the videos presentations and uh, cheat sheets or uh, basically cheat sheets means uh, any one of the vulnerability we can call a sql injection so if you take sql injection cheat sheet you will get entire details about that what is that how to test uh, where to uh, where you want to test what is happening what is the impact what is the impact of my business 
how you will calculate risk rating. Everything will exist in this place. So that, uh, that is the standard security controls, like what are the security basic controls you should follow and what are the free libraries? There is an open, a lot of free libraries existed in the market. Which libraries you can take it, which is you should not take it. Uh, before going to top 10 vulnerabilities, any queries? So the top 10 hackers divided all the security testing, uh, we can call security testing cases. Web application security testing into all the findings into top 10. And they categorized based on the uh, applicability. One is injection. So what is injection level attacks? We are injecting something in, uh, in the application and we are getting the response with sensitive data and broken authentication. So it's based on the your uh, login mechanism and your session management. Sensitive data exposure. Uh, this is based on your simple term. This is based on your cards, payment cards. So you know, uh, when you are doing your payment uh, in the card by using card, it will Cross mark everything and last two digits or four digits will be open. Sorry. So how, why, if it's cross mark means is the, is the server is how server will identify that. What are the controls they are implemented in the server level? Is we are able to crack that or not? If server able sensitive data, how data is again, we are getting a response without sensitive data. So those details we will cover in the sensitive data exposure level. And XXE. Now this XXE, like uh, if your application using XXE for the authentication calling and some other uh, functionality purpose, then it will be there. Broken access controls. Uh, it's a privilege related broken access control, which, which means uh, I'm the banking user, you are the banking user, which some controls will define, uh, identify the server. Okay, this guy is an Arish. When one ID is reading the server, okay, this guy is eating to the server, then they will identify, okay, this is the RJ. How the server is identifying that? So while we are doing security testing, web application security testing, we will identify the particular parameters, particular controls. Okay, this control is the major one to identify the user identity. If I'll change that identity, what is happening? So my identity is the like a, uh, double two. So when I'm, when my is, uh, ID is going to double two, then server will know, okay, double two is the Naresh. You can give the details from the Naresh details because every page I cannot uh, forward the uh, password in the post login, like every page, this is, it's not possible. It's a not a easy way to, uh, identification of Naresh by password. So they implement as the one other access control, which is called 22. So when server read that 22, then it will show us, okay, 22 is the nourish. So you can share the nourish details. So what's happening if I remove 22 and then I will add 23. So as I'm getting some other Ajay details, then how we can control that? That will cover in the broken access control level and security misconfiguration. Uh, this is based on the errors. The error should be is a, like, uh, please check and implement. They should not show, okay, your database having the some uh, error. So this is the database you are using, should not use the database. So these kind of errors, they should not show. And if you are using open source libraries and headers, request, uh, uh, you know, everybody like uh, when you are using the application, it other two things. One is the request header, another one is response headers. What is the impact those headers will not exist? and cross-site scripting. So uh, basically what is happening in the scripting languages? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm telling you, if you want to learn web application security testing, you don't need any coding language. 
if you don't know about coding language zero also you can learn it that's the coding is not high essential in secure testing if you know coding language that is useful for you because you can work along with the sas team as well which is called secure code review team but if you want to continue web application secure testing or mobile application secure testing some or a network pen tester coding language is not required this this basically java scripting something you knows that that is enough what is cross site scripting so is anybody identified when you are clicking something the pop up will come if you click on okay then what is happening so those kind of scripting this is the attacks based on the scripting language only so how to mitigate that scripting language uh, attacks it's majorly based on the headers so insecure deserialization what is deserialization what is deserialization so when you are entering your uh, information when you are giving your comment uh, feedback in the comment section so when or any parameters existed inside the application it's it's not possible every time to encrypt or decrypt so they introduced the serialization so what is happening in the serialization so those details i will show you in the coming sections using components with known vulnerabilities it's one of the biggest issue we knows that uh, particular uh, software particular library is a vulnerable but we don't have other option to run on it we are everybody running in the js versions you know all the js version we know js version is the vulnerable but still we are using jquery to run the application in the front end so what is the impact of that versions while we are using uh insufficient logging and monitoring what is insufficient logging and monitoring basically uh, there is any uh, machine there is a impact like uh, attack was happened that particular machine but i do i never logged in i never noticed it then how long it will be there existed there how to log into the particular machine and i identify that okay this is the impact related and how should we monitor how base regular basic we should monitor the particular machines so those details we will learn in the top 10 so these top 10 made by top, uh, top 10 hackers this is 2017 top 10 2021 another top 10 was released there but i will i will add those top 10 also but there all this 10 is same only new three added but till date the top 10 hackers not released it how to test those out of three one we knows remaining two they are not released it notes how to test the security testing for those two but i will try to cover those as well for these 10 vulnerabilities execution we have around 200 to 300 test cases each test case related to uh, around let's take example injection for injection related to identify the injection vulnerabilities we should execute around 50 to 60 test cases we have a separate test cases list as well that i will show you now uh, there we will cover all the test cases how to test each uh, each and every page pre login post login after log out what what we test and what what are the things we need to identify there so those details we will cover from this Uh, any queries okay so what are the tools we are using in the web application security so we have a different different tools uh, one is zap tool this is introduced uh, by the wasp in organization another one is burp suit is a post grade tool so it's it has a two scenarios one is a uh, community edition another one is professional what is community edition means it's a free tool we can download and we can use it but uh, professional having the scanner but uh, community edition we don't have the scanners 
that is the major difference between community edition and uh, professional edition. But professional edition is a licensed bits. Uh, it's they will charge around two lakhs per year for single license. In the next coming session, I will show you how to use the tool. This is the proxy tool. Uh, then we are most of the time we will use the burp suit only. It's a user interface and we can uh, easy to use and easy to uh, identify the vulnerabilities. Uh, what, what will happen in the burp suit tool? In, by using burp suit tool, we will capture the request and response. So the burp suit will involve between the browser and server. We'll capture the request by using the browser and we will edit the request and we will send to the server. The front end, we cannot edit any data because the front end is the limitation. So the username field, password field, uh, when you try is the limitation. So, okay, the password word is minimum 40 digit max. But when we using the proxy tool, Bubsuit, you can go for up to thousand. So it has the, these features like uh, intruder, scanner, decoder. What we provide as part of the training. Okay, we will provide a real-time application security. Like uh, I will take the application. Okay, one chart is existed. Yes. You will cover all three of this in this course. Yes, I will cover all the top 10 vulnerabilities. And all three tools as well, right? Uh, yeah, tools, all the three tools. Uh, apart from these three tools, I will cover remaining tools as well, uh, what we are using in the testing scenario. Also, we are going to showcase uh, how you yeah. can manually as well. So manual as well as through automation tools. Yes, everything I will show you right. Yeah. So I will, uh, that's what this uh, slide, uh, what is real-time application security, what we are doing in the uh, organizations and what are the tools we are using in the organization, how to use those tools, each and every tool. Uh, how to initiate the scan using professional because uh, I have license based as well, but uh, that is the one or two times we can use it. I will show you. And what are the concepts, cyber security concepts? And uh, how, how to handle the interviews so that uh, Itendra will take care about on it. Uh, what is the inter interview questions they will ask? And, uh, how to respond that answers and I will conduct the daily basis. Uh, I will give the task and daily basis and based on your coming on the task, then I will go for the remain next stage of uh, trainings. So uh, as I told you earlier, I will definitely assist on this resume preparation. What are the things you should add? If you are a fresh, if you are to looking for the new job and what is the things you should add in the resume? Like if you are two to three years gap, you are going to something more and I will assist on it. And if you are eight, six to eight years experience, some or other functional domain, if you want to move into security testing. So in which, uh, how many years you can add in the security testing post training. So what are the things they will ask you on it? That, that is definitely I will assist on for those details. I will connect a mock exams definitely. And I will connect a mock interviews. This is major thing. We have a separate team. Uh, one of my team member will call you and we will take the interview. If you are ready to interview, then uh, after 30, within a 30 days also, as of now, uh, within a 30 days, uh, if you are learned something, then if you want to know those something more, then definitely uh, one of our team member will call you for the interview. He will ask the couple of questions. So based on your answers, then you can come back one-to-one. -one, then we will discuss one-to-one -one what is the answer you should provide there and what is the uh, where you are lagging that every that everything i will assist on it and we'll create a whatsapp group as well so that you can ask your questions and yeah. uh, uh, even post training as well uh, will assist you yeah post training as well if you are any queries or if you are looking any job related after uh, you are attended a couple of interviews then what are uh, uh, there is a couple of queries you don't know the answer then uh, definitely i will assist on it and uh, what is the preparation you should Definitely before going to the interviews, what are the basic questions they will raise it. And certification support. Uh, this is a major. Uh, nowadays, everybody is most of the people looking for the certification people. So 
which certification is suitable for based on your experience and which institute is useful like which certificate which type of like a uh, uh, OACP is there some other certification also existed or which is useful for you and how to uh, crack the certifications so those definitely i will understand it if, and some of the certifications if you are good to go then i will definitely understand it and I, for the exams related also i will support for the certifications what are the questions they will in the exams you will get it and how to what is the answer you should choose it that uh, basic minimum details i will definitely support for that so i decided this everything in 30 hours and i'm sure it's not possible but uh, we are taking only for 30 hours i will definitely assist more than 5 to 10 hours extra yeah we are not limited to like 30 hours only uh, what we have uh, given over here but uh, yeah will assist assist also and then probably mock exam mock interviews and uh, maybe doubt clearing doubt clearing sessions will also be there uh, this is the minimum uh, i will i can i will share this uh, ppt you will get this contact details here so thank you session and before going to queries i will show you the tool what is the tool this is the tool name called as a burp suit proxy tool it's a community edition so the tool having these features like target proxy spider scanner intruder scanner we don't have it's will not work intruder repeater so I will explain each of the each and every request which uh, option we should use it and how to capture the request so it's my tool so there is a that's why it's a proxy tool because i'm setting the proxy in the browser Go to the settings under proxy. There is a manual proxy configuration. So you can use 127.0.0.1 as a proxy and port 8080. I'll enable this button. Then click on OK. So what are the details you are going to enter there? It will be coming in the so. What is that? We'll go for some application. I just entered one of the application. I will see you in the target that application name. What is there in the request? So this is the session ID. I'm clicking on the login page. So username, password is existed here. I want to on the request and click on so i want to see the password before you reach out to the server and how it's going is the encryption format as clear text uh, so guys this is just a high level information so from next yeah. section i uh, will give you complete the, the session one onwards i will show you the clear section from the scratch onwards i will show you what is the tool and how to what to do in the browser to capture the request what is the major requirement minimum requirement to capture this so here i can see the password is in clear text so here is the options we have a request enabled and i am going to enable response as well so i can view the response from the server as well So this is response. Response will be here. We can see this is the response. Just a simple. It's a very user friendly tool. We can use it. Hello, Naresh. Yeah. Uh, is this tool a license? Means do we need uh, to 
means purchase it uh, it's a two type of tools existed in websuits a community edition and license based but we are going for the community edition means free suit open source and is it sufficient for means like security testing yeah so, only oh, only one different existed for the community and uh, this one uh, professional one only scanner this scanner option is disabled okay and he has it uh, there is the the pro option what is the option is you can see this the pro professional having the search option Okay. Okay. So what? The the uh, pro option having the collaborator. This collaborator, uh, I have the pro also. I will show you the pro as well. So while initiating the scan time, I will definitely open the pro and I will show you. Okay. Yes. Barb should support record and playback as well. Yes. Yes, we sure it will support. so this is the history so you can see all the by you from your browser what is the data is hitting to the server all the data will be in the history place so this is the repeater tool this is basically we are using regularly because every time uh, i don't want to hit in the application server so i am using the repeater we can watch it again come mm -hmm. achi ji is it manual security testing or automation also we can do yeah, see manual testing is the community edition we are going to the manual we, uh, we are covering only manual mostly automation just a scanning only the scanning we will do in the pro bubs using bubs with pro manual we are covering in the community edition automation we are covering through bubsuit pro and this tool is only for web based testing right yeah web application security only okay and for mobile uh, if uh, in for future i need to learn mobile security yeah there, there is a tool called uh, apk decompiler okay uh, and uh, is it uh, means it will it be uh, similar to like a uh, web based testing as a uh, web app mobile application uh, 40% 50% similar to the web application only the apk related test cases different okay and couple of test cases browser dependency those the browser dependency test cases different remaining post plugin test case will come right this everything is 50% uh, same as the web application For automation security testing, we have a right script. We have to write a script specific language. Uh, no, uh, because the tool, uh, Vishwa. Okay, Vishwa, uh, the professional tool having the inbuilt uh, script languages, uh, scripts. The payloads inbuilt already existed in the automation. We don't need to write anything. So that uh, professional version, we are paying amount because of that uh, already inbuilt existing versions. you don't need to mention any language there based on the uh, application it's captured in the browser uh, in the burp suit they can directly uh, the professional versa i have the capability to identify the language and it will execute the scripts do security testing have means uh, dependency on os means like if we are using mac or windows or linux yes For web application is same. For if you are going for mobile application, it's a different because the application is same for uh, accessibility, same for uh, Mac and Windows and Android. Okay. Yeah. Any further questions? Uh, what would be the batch timings? Uh, that uh, Hitendra will confirm you for the timings. Uh, like what? Uh, like uh, we are planning. 
as my understanding everybody is in working people only most of the people even 70% so we oh, yeah. go after office hours yeah uh, please ping me uh, your details on this whatsapp number and you can fill this form as well we'll get back to you and yeah we'll think about it like how many people will uh, uh, enroll for this uh, for the training so probably we'll start from uh, uh, tuesday i think that would be today's 20 uh, 24th yeah so if you are interested for weekend class then probably we'll think about it as well or uh, maybe after office hours uh, on weekdays so we'll come to know. Uh, yeah, so still we have a couple of days time. So please let me know. So you can book your seats as well uh, in a couple of days time and let me know uh, on this WhatsApp number. Yeah, please note it down. Uh, so guys, any further questions related to security testing or any tools related or about the trainings uh, you want to confirm, uh, you want to get the answers from Naresh, you can ask questions right now. Uh, Naresh, uh, just one question. Uh, yeah. means after the completion of this uh, course, will I be able to add like a some experience means I will I be able to show experience on security testing? Definitely. Uh, definitely. Uh, minimum you can add. So as of now, how many years you have? I have two years of experience. Definitely you can add two, two years. Okay. So definitely, I think, yeah, you can add uh, like minimum two years, even if you're experienced guys or uh, yeah, if you're fresher, I mean, fresher means uh, you can add like knowledge on security testing, even if you're uh, ex currently working on manual testing, like two, three years, then you still you can add uh, two years uh, plus years of experience uh, in security testing. Okay, sounds good. Cool. 